Let me finish by telling you two stories about John in his old age, which we know from church records. And they, they are most revealing about John's balance of truth and love in himself, because he was a model of getting it together. He stood firmly for the truth. He wouldn't compromise on truth. You know that from his first letter. If anybody cast doubts about who Christ was, he came down like that. But at the same time, he was the most loving old man. He was called the beloved disciple, and Jesus loved him. And the result is he was a man full of love. Here are the two stories. When he was very, very old, he used to be carried into church every day. They had a chair with poles through it, and they would carry the aged apostle into church. And they would ask him to speak. And he would get up, well, he wouldn't get up, he'd sit in the chair at the front, and he'd say, little children, love one another. And then they would take him back to the pew. And the next Sunday, they'd carry him into church, and they would say to him, have you got a word for us today? Yes, he said, I've got a word for you today. And they'd carry the chair to the front, and he'd say, little children, love one another. And they would take him away again. Then the next Sunday, they'd bring him in. Have you got a word for us this morning? Yes, I've got a word for you this morning. And they'd take him to the front. He said, little children, love one another. <laughs> they began to think he was getting senile a bit, you know. It was always the same word. And they said, Master, finally, they're weary of it. You know, you do get weary of some people, don't you, when they say the same thing? There was a dear old man in one prayer meeting up in the north of England. Every Sunday morning he prayed, Lord, sweep the cobwebs from my heart. Lord, sweep the cobwebs from my heart. Every Sunday morning, finally, a young man shouted out, Lord, kill that spider, please. <laughs> well, you, you can, you can get... You can get tired of the same thing from the same old people. I'm sure some of you know what I'm talking about in open worship. Well, little children love one another. They finally went to the old man and said, Master, interesting title they gave him. Master, why do you always say this? He said, because it is the Lord's command. And if this only is done, it is enough. Isn't that beautiful? But they also used to carry him to the swimming pool, to the Roman baths, and give him a bath regularly. <laughs> I think that's lovely. And once they lowered him into the water, and at the other end of the pool, he saw a man called Sorinthus, who was the leading false teacher going around the churches. And he said, take me out, take me out. I won't be in the same water as that man. They had to lift him up and take him home unwashed that day. The man was the most loving man, but truth was all important too. See, that's John the Apostle.